Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Our culture is in a moment whereby it seems that all of us are more fascinated uh, and excited and interested in self-care. You hear it, you hear it everywhere. Self-care, take care of you. Uh, mental health, physical health, spiritual health, financial health. And you know what? I ain't hating it. It's a good thing, right? Um, if you've ever flown, you've noticed uh, with all those instructions that none of us listen to, where the flight attendant says, in the event of an emergency, if the masks come down, and you know what they say, they say, put it on you first. Uh, before you help someone else with it. And I think that's a wonderful principle in life. I think the idea is that you really can't help someone else until you're first in a position whereby you two are being helped. And I think that's the spirit of self-care. I get that culture can take that in different directions, but I think that the Bible is very, very affirming of our responsibility to take care of our bodies and take care of our minds and take care of our souls. So much so that in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6 and verse 19, Paul reminds us, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you whom you have from God? You are not your own for you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. Now, Paul is talking about the context of sexual immorality, right? Your, your body is tethered to this, honor your body, it's the temple of the Holy Spirit. You ain't got time for sexual immorality because God is there and he wants to do things with your body to his glory. That is the exact uh, inspired uh, truth that is being taught here. But I think this could be copied and pasted into everything in our lives because he's saying your body is a temple, is special. God wants to use it. And how many of us are guilty of cheating on our bodies and thereby cheating the potential we have to make Jesus famous with our lives? God's got a system and he's gonna honor it, right? I don't get to eat myself to death and expect to still reach 80. I don't get to spend my money any kind of way and expect to be able to use my money to be a blessing to the kingdom. I don't get to just abuse, allow myself to be abused emotionally and then be expect to be optimally used for the Lord's goodness. It's a principle there, take care of your body. People say that there are three rails of health. There's physical, spiritual, and there's emotional. And I think that's right, but at the end of the day, physical, spiritual, emotional is all spiritual. <laughs> it's, all, it's all spiritual. That I can be better spiritually if I'm better physically. I can be better emotionally if I'm better, better spiritually if I'm better emotionally. And, the, and it goes on and on and on. So here's the question. How are you and your temple doing? That's the question. How are you and your temple doing? You know, usually I'm pretty good spiritually. I'm okay emotionally, but boy, that physical. Ooh, me, man, it's just an up and down struggle. And I've learned that I can't fight on my own. And so I've hired a literal doctor and a team of nutritionists, right? Cause y'all know me and y'all know me in food and I loves it and I ain't never gonna stop loving it. So I said, let me get me some help because I want my temple to be in optimum condition so the Lord can use me as long as he wants to, if he wants to use me long. You got one temple, one shot and use it the best you can so God can continue making his name famous in and through you. Take care of yourself y'all you're worth it. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.